Namaste. Let us now see up to how much our span of life is determined by the divinity that is called our life. The end point of the goal, what is fixed for the physical body can be considered as the death. All those who come to this earth with a body infused with prana, the moment the life enters, they count down for their death also simultaneously fixed. For this span, the birth is taken as the starting point and end is taken as the death point. The life paper is given in our hands. Now, before the count and bell is ringing for us, we will have to complete the question paper into an answer paper and hand it over before the divinity. Then the divinity will say whether you have come to the death point or you have come to the spiritual living point. Those who complete and go without any awareness or a death, death will meet the death point. Those who realize the self and attain the Supreme Soul are living eternally with the Supreme Soul is what we need to count for ourselves. When a person becomes spiritual, what is the purpose of life? When this question is posed to the self, that becomes the starting point for increasing this self-realization or self-awareness. It is that point where the person picks up the spiritual life. It is at that point the person realizes the material life has no meaning. It is at that point the person realizes that spiritual life is more supreme to the Lord and to me. As a result, he picks up the right path for himself or for herself. It is at this point the life will give a lesson to us that we have come here solo, we have come here to realize the self, we have come here to realize the soul, we have come here to understand the Atman individually and not collectively. The journey may be collective, but realization is individual. It is at this point the individual who has taken the spiritual path spends each moment very productively, very authentically, very meaningfully and very prudently also. It is at this point the individual tends to make a connection between the Jivatma and the Paramatma. It is only making an attempt. It has not made the connection. It is a starting point to reach the Paramatman. It is a starting point for the Atma to attain the Paramatma. Once this happens, it is at this point that we will realize that all those sufferings, all those bad experiences, all those bad associations, all those ill acts, all those wrong thinkings are no more carried by us. And once we stop carrying all those things, our body, 
our mind our soul becomes very very light and it picks up itself for the right journey on the spiritual path during this period the individual also will have a feeling that whenever they go to sleep during the night they will feel today is the last day for me tomorrow i may not wake up with this feeling each day will be spent by the person who is on the spiritual path which means the individual who is on the right spiritual path with the guidance of the guru he is able to realize himself and he is preparing himself or yes prepared himself for the departure at any moment when he wakes up or when she wakes up in the next day morning comfortably then that individual will think that one more day has been added to me let me enjoy this day also in the name of the lord the supreme soul in this way each time we are in sleep maybe a deep sleep whether it is swapna shushupti or nidra or samadhi each minute will be a moment of awareness for the individual there will be no moment for the individual without awareness each minute will be a moment of awareness for the individual there will be no moment for the individual without awareness nothing is likely to happen without the knowledge of the individual because each moment whether he is in sleepness or whether he is in awareness whether he is in swapna whether he is in sushupti or he is in deep nidra or he is in samadhi each moment is counted by the individual and it is totally aware of it in such a moment the individual carries nothing with it and it becomes so light any time he is ready to knock the doors of the divinity the doors of the supreme soul the soul connectivity continues to happen till such time it attains the supreme soul in some occasions if at all we leave the body during the sleep then that sleep can be considered as the samadhi that is one of the best samadhi that is one of the best connectivity with the lord that is one of the supreme journey to attain this supreme soul also if such things happen if we are leaving the body during the sleep and attaining samadhi that can be considered as the jivan mukta or one of the super most or supreme way of attaining the lord the supreme soul this kind of attaining the lord even millions and billions and trillions of dollars cannot bring such kind of end to the person because such souls will not return anywhere and it will continue to be with the lord as supreme soul itself that person also is called the jivan mukta as well as the jnana mukta so as to understand the essence of our sandwich life we need to be aware that we need a guru who can show the sanmarga that is a right path the guru has to pick you up and carry you up to the level when the soul enters the supreme soul once this happens your life is blissful your life has enjoyed all that has been presented before you by the divinity and you got the right guru and your guru got the right disciple both your guru and his or her disciple has nothing to complain to the universe nothing to carry from the universe no debts for the universe no debts for the divinity 
no debts by anybody it becomes totally cleansed soul most perfect to be with the supreme soul we will see in another video continuing the same other part of life till such time om sadguru baba ji namaha om sadguru baba ji namaha om sadguru baba ji namaha